Hey, what's good, boy dudes and boy dudes? And today, let's review Lady and the Tramp. It's a 1955 American animated musical romance film produced by Walt Disney and released to theaters on the June 22nd, 1955, by Bunano Vista Distribution. It's the 15th film in the Disney canon and it's the first feature animated film to be shot or well, animated in the widescreen process based on Happy Dan. The Cynical Dog by Ward Greeny, Lady and the Tramp tells the story of a female American cocker spaniel named Lady who lives with a refined upper class middle class family and a male stray mixed breed dog called the Tramp. When the two meet they embark on many romantic adventures and fall in love. Ah, thank you for sweet. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, well, um, yeah, um, what I like about this film, let's go into positives. I have to admit, I actually kind of like the fact that they animated this movie in the wide ratio. Very, it's the first time we've seen that and having that cinema scope does give it that depth to it, to be honest with you. Um, it was during the era of movies during the 50s where movies were sh mainly favoured in the wide cinema scope. And this is how to animate the film in cinema scope. And basically the new innovation proved additional problems for the animators and the expansion of space created more realism but gave fewer close-ups. It also made it difficult for a single character to dominate the screen so that groups had to be spread out to keep the screen from appearing sparse. Longer takes became necessary since constant jumping cuts would seem too busy or annoying on the wide ratio. So it does have a different Disney feel so that's why the animation is a little different when you actually watch the film but honestly I didn't really mind I I thought it was okay I thought it was good I, I liked it um, obviously there's a lot of really nice looking animations particularly the dogs I really do like the dog animations they are really nice and they just, they just have this niceness to it and I like the characters the designs of it um, uh, the human characters are also pretty good as well. Um, they, I feel like the human characters remind me some. Some of them remind me of Pinocchio characters in a way. And this is during the era of Mary Blair with her lovely background and all that. And I like this era as well. The soft animation and the nice look of it. It was pleasing for the eyes, you know. It was very, very pleasing. Very, very, very pleasing. And. In terms of animation, as they had done with the deer and Bambi, the animators studied many dogs of different breeds to catch the movement and personality of dogs. Um, uh, obviously, they didn't have two dogs eating spaghetti. That, that would be stupid. Um, yeah. Walt Disney actually wanted to cut that spaghetti scene because they wouldn't think it was romantic, but that scene is extremely iconic. And Frank Thomas was against Walt's decision and animated the entire scene himself without any layouts. And Walt was impressed by Thomas's work and he kept the scene. So he proved him wrong. Yeah. And yeah, the film at the time when it was released, was it a box office success? I don't really remember too much. It was initially panned by critics at first. Maybe because the CinemaScope, um, you know, wasn't that appealing for Disney film because there were a lot of like, characters were position weirdly because of that cinema scope and I don't think Disney animated films work well with that long cinema scope 2D films particularly I think the CG films can get away with it but I don't think 2D films work like that you know and you get used to it but that is what it is but over time this film became a classic and people have praised the heck of out of this film people have loved it and yeah but I don't really like this film <gasps> and this is my part main negative about this film it's a boring boring forgettable film I mean I don't remember any of the characters apart from the Siamese but please like all the characters are just kind of bland and forgettable I mean lady she's lovely and you got Trump but I don't know, none of them were that great. The only characters who I did like were um, Trusty and Jock, the Scottish Terrier and the Bloodhound. 
voiced by Billy Thompson, Bill Thompson and Bill Buckham. Those were the only characters who I remembered and kind of liked, but everyone else is kind of boring. It, they just, no one appears to just steal the spotlight and yeah. The soundtrack's okay, I suppose. It's nice and lovely. The Siamese cat is a bit controversial to this day, but it is what it is. I remember when I first watched this film when I was young, I, I never really liked it. I never liked it. I watched it and I was like, I kind of want to watch something else now. I don't know, it just didn't appeal to me at all. Was it the wide ratio? Was it the not so good storyline? We'll never know. But for that, I'm going to give this film a 6 out of 10. I'm going to give it a C. The animation is nice, and I'm going to give it that. And the backgrounds are nice, I'm going to give it that. But this is forgettable as frick. So please like, share this video, comment down below, and tell me what's your favourite Disney film. Thanks so for watching, boy, this signing out.